Yeah. And we've Baba. just had a bum changed. Baba. Baba. It's Baba in the camera. And um, we need to change the bed and do little things like that. We did loads of washing yesterday, didn't we? Baba. So she's finally got some clothes to wear today. Because she went through them all. Baba. That's Baba, that's you. Yeah. And we got some things planned today, haven't we? Yeah. We've got to do food shopping today. Um, I'm going to work out this morning and we're just going to watch her programmes. I'm going to try and not show you guys too much of the front room and hallway and the living room, the dining room, whatever you want to call it. Because we haven't finished having um, everything done yet. The last thing we have left to do is the carpet's going to be replaced. And then I can do an update vlog of what we've had done. And then when I've worked out, I'll show you guys what we're going to have for breakfast. And take you with us for food shopping. And then later we're going to the park. This is Bank Holiday Monday. It's belly button. It's belly button. She's, she's just learning belly button. What it is. And she's still being mad. So she's still got a bing toy. It goes everywhere. And she loves her bing box. <laughs> okay, so I've just worked out. It's quite hard. My legs are quite stiff at the moment. It's my calves. But also, I do eat very well yesterday. I had a load of popcorn. And I did have some chips, which just don't agree with me. But it was just one of those quick dinners. We all do it. <laughs> Imogen's in a little dress today. It's Baba. She's been playing with her toys. Because she's got a little toy box. Princess is on. Yeah, we can have breakfast. So for breakfast, that's my post-workout meal. Um, I'm going to have beans and egg on toast which isn't keto friendly but it is low carb because the toast i'm going to be using is by the brand dylan which is a keto brand and i think it's the beach one i've got which was in my crave kit and then imogen's going to have some beans as well and she's going to have a frankfurt sausage which she's just obsessed with she absolutely loves this brand it's from aldi so i'll show you guys um when i get it out now, I normally do a targeted keto approach, or I tend to go between low carb and keto. That's just what's always worked for me. Um, I absolutely cannot have a high carb diet anyway. It just really doesn't agree with me. I don't have any health conditions as such, but it tends to give me like IBS symptoms. So if I was to have every single day potatoes, for instance, or rice, pasta, any of that sort of stuff, bread even, it just makes me bloated. I have sharp stomach pains. I get lethargic, it's really horrible. And then like most people that have um, carbs, I tend to have a sugar crash <laughs> normally, but I haven't completely cut them out. Um, I am flexible in that sense because sometimes I do enjoy them. Like I still do like a jacket potato, very rarely, I don't have it that often. Um, things like that. I like to be um, metabolically flexible, I suppose is the word. But sometimes it's just easier when you're working and you have kids, it's just it's quick and easy, isn't it? <laughs> But yeah, so that's what I'm gonna have for breakfast. For lunch, I'll show you what it's gonna be, but it's it's basically leftover stuff thrown into a slow cooker that's been cooking. I don't really know what it is. It kind of tastes like a mix between a casserole, bolognese thing. But I'll show you guys that later. So, Imogen's just been playing, and what she does, she tends to go into the toy box, and then she gets stuck because she doesn't know how to get out. But she managed to get out this morning, so I'm super proud of her. She figured it out. She's out with the bing toys. So these are the sausages Imogen likes. They're the Frankfurt 10 classic ones they get from Aldi. And in terms of the content, I just normally microwave them before I just microwave one. We are looking at 1.6 gram carbs per Frankfurt. So they are low, low carb, um, seven grams of fat, and then there's four grams of protein. So it's more fat than anything else. So she absolutely loves these. So I don't mind her having these because these aren't sugary or anything like that. So I don't mind. And as I said, these are from Aldi's. So I do enjoy these as well, but I don't have them as often as Imogen. I do like to have them as breakfast sausages as well. And the bread I'm using is this one. So the Dylan brand. So the keto bread is the beetroot one. You can see it's like a loaf of bread that's been cut or the end of it's been cut off. So I'm gonna slice this up and make toast with butter. I can have some salted butter and then have some beans and then an egg because I've got one egg left before we go food shopping. So Imogen's got a little bit of beans and her Frankfurt sausage, but I cut it in half because she likes to realm all these in. She's just playing on her car at the moment. Then I've got beans on toast. We've got Dylan bread and butter, which I thought was on my knife and then a fried egg. But it didn't toast the way I thought it was on toast. It just burnt on the edges. So it's really hard to tell if it's toasted or not. So you can see it's all like black here. But we'll see how it tastes now. Imogen, 
Did you enjoy your beans? Yeah, she ate it all. Apart from one small bit of sausage that she threw on the floor, but just clean up. Ah, uh, ta. As you can see, she enjoyed it here. She enjoyed it here. And then she did get it on me, but I think I managed to wipe the stain out. Should we go shopping? Let's go food shopping. Right, we just got to buy all these and we finally managed to get a family spot because they always end up using all the family spots and not everyone has a family. You tend to find, like, old people tend to park here because they can't be bothered to walk, which is really frustrating because obviously I have a toddler. But yeah, here we are at Aldi's. Dan thinks this is silly, but I always take my little coins with me, which I've collected over the years. So, for instance, um, I went to the University of Worcester, so I've got a little coin for that. And then when I used to volunteer at Cats Protection, I ended up buying one there because it goes towards charity. So I keep these, obviously, for the um, trolleys. And then I don't have to worry about using a pound ever again. But they're so handy. I take them everywhere. So we just got to Tesco's. I did buy this drink at Aldi. I tend to get this one quite often. It's just a vitamin water. And they're like 75p. Um, I'm not sure exactly what the carb content is, but I think this is probably more low carb than keto. And then I did get a little bit distracted with the plant section and I bought another succulent plant. So I'll have to show you guys when I get home what plants I've got now, but this is my second succulent. My mum's got one, but she didn't get any babies from hers, so I um I wanted one. And I just really love the pot. I like that it's yellow, because I think it'll go nicely with our front room. She thinks it's a really cute pot. So yeah, when we get home, I'll show you guys what plants I've got. I'm kind of obsessed with plants at the moment, with indoor plants. So trying to make it more homely since we've had loads of renovations with the house, with um, the recent flood and stuff we had. So I'll show you guys um, what I've been doing planting-wise when we get home. But we're just at, not Tesco's, we're at um, Morrison's now. Because I always get the eggs here. It's actually quite cheap to get the big eggs, the big pack of eggs for cheaper. So there we go. Okay, so for lunch... I'm having this. I don't know what it is. It's basically all my leftover food. So it's got in there minced beef, leeks, broccoli. It's got plum tomatoes. It's got cherry tomatoes. It's got tin tomatoes. It's got green peppers, yellow peppers, garlic, salt and pepper, um, tomato puree. And I think that's it. So it's a bit of a mismatch that's kind of just gone in the slow cooker rather than wasting all the food. But you can see how much was there. There's quite a lot. And it sort of tastes in between like a casserole and a bolognese and a stew. It's kind of like a mix of all of them. So this would be nice with rice and or bread or dumplings or whatever. And I'm going to have this with keto noodles. So I'm going to have it with this. So palmini linguine and it says four gram carbs. So um, I've never tried this before. So I'm going to try it with that and have like a sort of bolognese thing. And then Imogen for her lunch. We've got a ton of like kiddie stuff here because um, of doing the house up and things. So she's probably just going to have one of these packaged kids dinners from Aldi because I need to use them up really. So she'll probably have the vegetable beef casserole. She really likes that one. So they need non keto ingredient in there with potatoes. So I just drained those palmini noodle things and they smell like flowers, I suppose. Or plants. I don't really know how to describe it. It's kind of a funny smell. So I've drained them and then it says to mix whatever your sauce is. So in this case, it's going to be my sauce. And then just to like heat it up together and then it just comes together. So we'll see how it goes. So in terms of flowers, I have this little succulent. I think it's called, in fact, I can't even think what it's called. I'm going to have to check the name for that one. And then this is the other succulent I've got. I actually bought today from Aldi. So I got a bit carried away. Unfortunately, he fell over in my car, so it's got a little broken bit here. He should be okay. Then I've got two in the bathroom. And then these are my other two plants. So I've got an air plant. And then my aloe vera plant. But I put the stones in so the cats can't get at it. But he's grown a little bit since he's been here. 
So we just come back from a walk. We didn't go to the park in the end. Imogen was very tired. She slept quite long today. And because she's teething, she's just not very happy at the moment. So she didn't actually have any lunch earlier. So even though she was supposed to have that beef and vegetable casserole, she didn't actually eat it, unfortunately. But hopefully she'll have some tea, which I'll show you guys what we're having now. So I'm doing some pork chops. I've got salt and pepper on these. And then I've used this garlic oil, which I got from the craze kit. So it's this one, rapeseed oil with garlic. So this should be really nice. And then I've chopped up some raw beans. I don't know if they're stringy or not, so I might have to swap them with mixed veg if they don't turn out very nice. And then we've got some baby new potatoes. So this is more of a low carb dinner really than a keto friendly one, obviously. Just swap the potatoes if you want it to be keto friendly. Then the cats are chomping away with their tea. So they just got biscuits. Tonight, Blue's on a special diet though with the vets, unfortunately. And he had a problem a couple of years ago with his bladder. Gracie's on whiskers and she is so fussy, she won't eat anything else. And then my lunch I had earlier, just to show you what that looked like with the palmini spaghetti. So it just looks, they kind of look a bit like green beans, not green beans, they're like bean sprouts, I suppose, and they're crunchy like bean sprouts. But they're really nice, they do carry a lot of flavour on the noodles. So Dan's going to take that to work tomorrow as leftovers. And then I'm going to plate up my leftover, like, veggie stew thing, whatever it is that I've made. So we can freeze it and have it later. Image is not having the belly pork, by the way. She's going to have fish fingers because she'll probably choke on that belly pork. But it's going to be so delicious. If Imogen was having it, I wouldn't bother putting the salt on there. Because obviously she's not meant to have salt. I just wanted to show you guys what I picked up from Tesco today some mixed bulbs of daffodils and they should look something like this next year so we've got these like yellow ones the white ones with the orange round and these little white ones with the orange i think it's gonna be good really good i'm gonna do just a little bit of gardening i'll show you guys what i've got planted and show you what i'm gonna plant now in terms of my little window experiments anything i'm planning on growing now are leeks so i only put these in yesterday um and they are already starting to get roots on there so you can see the roots are starting to come out a little let them root a bit more before I plant those and see what happens. So this is our flower bed. We've got sweet peas now in this corner. Oxide daisies. We've got forget-me-nots. And just a... I don't know what this is. Just a random mix. I think it's a woodland mix. What's it say? Yeah, woodland mix i got here. So everything's growing well. There's a cat poo, unfortunately, along here. I can't stop the cats from going, but as long as they don't mess up the plants, it's not a big deal. Right, in terms of our door, I have no idea what this is. I thought it was dust, but I don't think it is now. So we'll have to wait and find out next year. These are kales I was having a go at, so they don't look great. Things keep eating them, so they were just a bit of fun. I've got this tomato plant, but it looks a bit sad, so just giving it good water. I think I'll give it some feed tomorrow. And then this one having to go onions and there were potatoes in there, but I don't think they've rooted. They're supposed to be Maris Piper potatoes. This one I'm gonna put some new potatoes in. So I'm hoping they'll grow because they've rooted in the house. And this one's doing really well. It's my baking potatoes. See, they started to flower and I've got new roots and things coming through here as well. I'm really chuffed with those. And then my mini greenhouse. Not supposed to be chives, I don't really know what's going on there. This one's coriander. No, it's not. It's not coriander, it's basil. So that seems to be doing something. That one I dropped, so I'm just letting that one do its own thing. These are my spring onions. This is actually garlic. I don't really know what I'm doing with this one either, but just winging it. It's my cabbage I'm trying to root. That's a kale that managed to somehow managed to grow. This one is a cabbage, I think someone's eaten it, but it still keeps coming back strong every couple of days. It goes like this and it comes back strong in the next couple of days. This is a romaine lettuce I've just accidentally blasted with my water. <laughs> but this one seems to be growing well. This is another romaine, le romaine lettuce I'm starting. This one I think is a failed pot, don't know why that one's out. And then this one is cauliflowers. Again, I just blasted it by accident. And this one is supposed to be cauliflowers, but I've got sneaky suspicion my peppers have actually started to grow in because I did put pepper seeds in there and it's taking two months for them to actually sprout. 
Some little herbs, some like rosemary and sage. Cat grass, I didn't mean to buy and let that die. This, I have no idea what it is, but it's doing so well. Again, I just blasted it with the water back because I had the hose pipe on the wrong setting. This one's my California poppies. Again, I've accidentally blasted it. And this one's my Indian prints. But again, I did blast it a bit, but it bounced back later. I should have used my watering can. Grease is being naughty in the windowsill. She wants to come outside, even though she's scared of outside. She won't actually stay outside. That's my coriander that I put inside the greenhouse. These are daffodils, your traditional yellow ones. I've got question mark, but I'm pretty certain they are daffodils. They've been um, creating new bulbs. These are the potatoes another plant. You can see they've rooted. Sprouted, rooted, whatever the word is. I think sprouted is the word. So they're going to go next to my potatoes, and then I'm just going to plant these in my big pots I've got and hope that something grows next year. So we've had tea, I've finished gardening. Imogen didn't really eat much. She threw most of it on the floor, but I think because she's teething, so she's just having those tuck biscuits instead. But now she's having a yogurt, a raspberry mm. yogurt. Mmm. And she's got a new spoon. And you can see she's enjoying it. It's one of those munchkin spoons I found in Aldi. We went food shopping today. So she's having a go herself. And it's one of those anti-choke um, ones with that bit around the spoon end. So she can't shove it all in the mouth because she's been experimenting a bit too much. Mmm, is that nice? Mmm. And she's got her last setting in session this week on Wednesday for only two hours. Then she does a full day next week. And then she starts nursery properly every Monday. So mummy can go into the office. Mmm. Yum yum. Okay, so that was our bank holiday Monday. Hope everyone else has had a really nice holiday. Mm. We've had about a week off now because I had a few days holiday to use. So it's been nice and relaxing and just doing gardening, spending family time together, doing little things around the house to make it more homely. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.